welcome to another edition of Does This Thing Really Work? We're going to be talking about CLA, conjugated linoleic acid. Now, that's a fancy word for a little soft gel that you're going to find at a vitamin shop or some supplement store. So, it is a trans fat. When I hear the term fat burning supplement or fat burning food, a red flag goes up because I know that um, you know you have the thermic effect of effect of food. Um, so protein is, has like a higher thermic effect than carbs and fats, and um, you know so you're going to burn more calories by eating protein than you will. Um, fats and carbs so like you know if you for example if you eat a steak it's gonna take a while to digest that steak and that steak is gonna sit in your stomach for hours it's gonna take a lot of energy to break down that meat so for supplements fat burning I mean in order to burn fat you have to be a caloric deficit we know that this is science like that's we know just know that um, kind of like the eclipse that happened today, that was science, um, people were predicting it was going to happen, it happened. We can predict that if a person is in a caloric deficit of 300 calories every day for 8 weeks, they're going to lose X amount of weight, you know, um, because 3,500 calories is equal to 1 pound of fat. We know that. It's always going to be that way. Now, some people's metabolisms are faster than others and some people will move around more active, some people are older, younger, different age, um, gender, so all those factors go into play, you know, how much you weigh, how tall you are, all that, how big you are. So, so the only thing really needed to burn fat is a caloric deficit. And that's what I'm leaning on for my next show. I'm doing a, a prep, a show, a show prep right now. It's gonna be 10 weeks from now. So I ran out of CLA, I just used it up, and I'm like thinking to myself, should I spend the extra $15 or however much it costs to buy CLA when I know, I just know, that all I need to do is eat less food? Is the CLA going to make a difference? Now for some people, they swear by it, they say, oh the CLA helped. But if you really look at those cases where people lost 30 pounds taking CLA, they were doing everything right. They were exercising every day. They were on a diet, or at least a caloric deficit, whatever you want to call it. Um, and you know, they were just they were just doing it right. So if you're consistent, you'll get results consistently. So I don't think the CLA by itself will do the trick. Um, but they claim that it produces leaner muscle tissue and better. Body, body composition, and you'll burn more fat, but honestly, it's just a little bit of fat. You're just, I mean, that's like, it's just like doing a teaspoon of coconut oil, and, and people claim that burns fat too. So, um, I don't know, I just think if you're consuming healthy fats, that um, if you're consuming the right amount, then you're going to burn fat. Um, you want to have at least you know 50 grams of fat. I've never gone that low. I usually around 70 or 80 or 90, depending if I'm cutting or bulking. Um, but yeah, I mean, there's no such thing as a fat burning supplement by itself. That's I mean, it's just fat. I don't know. It could work for you. It, it, I mean, I used to take it. I got pretty lean, pretty ripped, but. I don't think it was the CLA, honestly. I think it was just the lack of calories um, being in, you know, going into my system. So anyway, that's it for today. I hope you learned something. I hope you enjoyed. That's it. Over now.